Now, before you leave a dislike, listen, I'm just as tired of hearing all this complaining as you are, but I feel like this has to be said. Bungie has acknowledged that they're listening about the end game and many other problems with the game, and they are working on fixes. Some of them are dropping very soon, so that is very good. But Bungie hasn't acknowledged a lot of other stuff that people like myself are looking for. A lot of stuff that are going to make this game a lot more uh, replayable for us, for our interests, and not just another piece of armor set to go after. So, if you guys do agree with what I'm saying, if you could like the video, share it around, you know, get some other people, um, get this video to other people, that would be greatly appreciated. But anyways, let's get right into this. So, with Seasons at Bungie's TwitchCon panel, um, basically what they said is that they're, well, I mean, this could be a little harsh. They are doing a double XP event so that you can get more bright engrams, if you aren't aware. Um, at the end of every season, they're gonna pretty much refresh the entire loot pool, um, trials on banner faction rallies. They didn't say anything about the raid, but, uh, they're gonna refresh armor, weapons, you know, give different perks, different looks, all that kind of stuff. And, um, this is really a stupid-ass band-aid fix for the end game. To have everything reset, it's... It might work for the first season, but soon enough, people just aren't gonna care. They're, like, they said, for example, new players are gonna come in and be like, Oh, how'd you get that? <laughs> Had to be in season two or whatever. I mean, that's bullshit, man. People aren't gonna care nearly as much as you guys think they will. And the players who want to be like that won't either. By the time the sixth season rolls around, I mean, nobody's gonna care what you have, really. You know, there's gonna be other new stuff that people's worrying about. And it's just not a real fix to the endgame. Uh, they have said that they're gonna work on prestige, like, making prestige more rewarding, making the mod system more rewarding, impactful, and uh, interesting. But this season stuff is nowhere near as impactful as people are thinking it will be. And this is a huge microtransaction grab, which I'm really hoping Bungie wasn't behind. I'm really hoping that this was like an Activision scheme thing, because this is some pretty scummy shit that Bungie's doing right now. And, I mean, it will add more replayability. I know I'm one of those guys that will try to get all the exotic emotes and chips and stuff for every season, but that's just to have something to do, and that is not something that, you know, I'm happy or excited about doing that feels rewarding that is something that I'm gonna say hey get this game this shit's awesome but because it's just not um, you know it's really a band-aid fix and I really think if this game is ever gonna get to a destiny one point like year one destiny one point um, it's gonna need to have a lot of changes not just to make it at its year one state but much further than that as well so let's get into that so with Destiny 2, Bungie has made this game much more casual. That is not a question or debatable in any way. It just is, no matter what you say. And I feel like even with the uh, PC just releasing, you know, how they have the group chats, you know, they're just, I mean, how they don't have stuff like that. Um, it's just, it, like, it's gonna make, it, it made it more obvious that Bungie's really, really trying to make this a pussy game for little eight-year-olds to come in and not get bullied by some guys because he's shit at the game. Like, it's just, I don't know, they're not trying to have a toxic environment like that, which is unavoidable at this point in games. And it, I mean, if anything, will hurt the game more than anything. Uh, yeah, so, what this game needs, more hardcore goals. People have been asking for leaderboards, Ranking and Crucible. I'm a PvP player myself, so ranking and Crucible would be absolutely huge for me. I'm so tired of having to go to Destiny Tracker to look at my elo to have a sense of progression in this game. I'm sure a lot of you can feel the same way, but I'm tired of looking at websites to have a sense of purpose, a sense of meaning in this game. This shit should be in the game. We need ranking, we need leaderboards, with like the scoring in PoE or COE. And, you know, the strike scoring in Destiny 1, we thought, oh, for sure, leaderboards, you know, to compete, see who's the best, to go for, you know, the to be the best. We thought for sure shit like that would be coming up. But no, I mean, it was just some numbers on the screen. And I feel like if they did have leaderboards, I would have played strikes and COE so much more to try to get to the top 
That is ridiculous. If there was ranking, I would play PvP so much more. I haven't touched PvP in two weeks. You, I touch PvP to keep Diamond or whatever in my ELO playlist and for trials. That is literally it. PvP is stupid boring, and they've killed PvP. Uh, so the only way to revive that shit is, you know, pff, rewards that are worth it, a ranking system to have, like, for hardcore people to have goals in the game. Because PvP is not something that you go in for fun right now. And for me, it, that really hurts because Destiny 1, I love Destiny 1 PvP for the most part. The metas were pretty much always AIDS. But, I mean, I was a sniper. I always tried going for clips even though I was pretty shit at hitting and stuff like that. But Destiny 2 does not have that fun factor. And, I mean, there's no way they can go back on it now. 4v4, it's a team shotting pussy kill game. Team shot kill game. So, if they had a ranking system to really push that competitive feel forward even more, I feel like I could get more behind that. If they started up a MLG scene, I feel like I could get more behind how competitive this game is trying to be, instead of just being a cancer team shotting, no fun, boring, plain ass multiplayer that I'm amazed that people find fun. Anyways, guys, that is about it. Just a quick video to go over, you know, just some stuff, some changes to the game that could be added. Uh, Bungie hasn't really talked about any of this hardcore stuff. Really, they're just talking about seasons. The first DLC will be having reveals in November. So, promising times for Destiny. November is going to be a huge drop for news. Three live streams for the first DLC will be coming out. You know, the dawning in December the first DLC in December, it will get better. I know that for a fact, but I just know that with this season bullshit that people are getting hyped up about, it will not last. And if they don't make some big changes, you know, they don't have to add this shit, but this is stuff that is pretty easily implemented that can make this game a lot more playable for me and quite a bit of other hardcore players that can keep playing the game by just seeing numbers and rankings go up. So yeah. Uh, that's about it. If you guys do agree, like I said, if you could like it, try to share it around, that would help out a ton. But anyways, guys, thank you all so much for watching. It has been Ash, and I will see you all later. Peace.